Hi Aquarius, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your reading for October. So I love reading for Aquarius. Ready? Let's get into the energy and see what's going on. You can, I just seen the world and um, Wheel of Fortune. What? Destiny. Hmm. That's what's coming in for you, I feel. Caught my eye right away. But let's see what's going on for Aquarius source. For their love energy. For October. For Aquarius. Three of Wands. Page of Wands coming out right away. I was already feeling like you have a tough decision to make. And there's the Two of Swords appearing again. She was on the bottom before. See, so you have a tough decision to make here. You're getting some sort of like good news or some sort of chance at like an adventure. Wow, star card here. Yeah, there's some sort of like wish fulfillment or um, like <laughs> you're getting something here. Um, you're going to definitely have to make a decision on it. It's your justice though. It's one of these like you're going to know that it was for you. Maybe it requires you to have boundaries, whatever this is, okay? Because I feel like you've had some competition, battling, and conflict with that five of wands showing there. Mm -hmm. Now the five of wands is jumping out. You've had some people that have been holding you back from something. Jealousy, competition, challenge. Yeah, some people have been trying to come in and mess with your destiny. You, you know what it is you truly want some things within your family ten of cups you're getting some sort of new beginning here with the fool here and the chariot yeah mm. I remember some of you you're moving away from family members you're starting over yeah there's an ending here five of cups right under the fool there's a new beginning here that is um Maybe this ending already occurred because it's coming up from my recent past position, but I'm getting more, it's like a surprise. Like, I don't think you realize when you walked away or you started to go after something that it closed cycles. For some of you, you don't realize that you were in a cycle. You could have been consumed, you're taking in a lot of like somebody's energy surrounding you. Somebody that was unavailable, undetached. Okay. Um, somebody was kind of holding you in their world. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. There's some sort of, there's something coming in for you to get you out of a situation. Eight of Pentacles. Some sort of opportunity. Future plans, values, shared values. I'm getting something fun and lighthearted is like coming in. Okay. This could be a new love that's coming in with the Page of Cups. Um, it could be a younger lover too something could feel like forbidden with this or like risky I'm getting it might put you in this energy where you need to spend some time to think about what it is you truly want okay but you're attracting this and yeah there is definitely a love offer there's definitely a lover here, flirting, romance, it says unrequired love here. Hmm. Six of Swords, maybe you're walking away from something like that, going towards what it is you truly want. Hmm. Let's find out a few more. For Aquarius. Justice, it's definitely part of your justice. Like, it's meant for this to come in. The strength, the nine of cups, the seven of pentacles. Okay. See, there was divine timing in this. It was like something was meant to, like, if you were to overcome something, you get this. It's kind of like you, for passing something, you get something. And like that, that's what's happened here. But you hold the key of when you get this because um something needed to be expressed or communicated because of free will like you get to choose this 
It's like victory and success guaranteed, but you have to overcome. It's like knowing that you have like a talent or a gift and you'll be successful, but you have to overcome fear and to be able to have that. And you have to put in the work. This is definitely something that could be very beneficial. See those gold bars there sending out to me. Like somebody, it's almost like somebody has like a talent or like you were given a key. You were given some sort of skill. It has to do with something I'm picking up within the throat chakra, the voice, right? Maybe you're meant to be like a, communi a communicator, um, an influencer or something like that. Maybe you're meant to have like your own platform, your own. It's something to do with the public eye, right? But you hold the key to it, okay? But it's overcoming fear. Strength, courage, right? Um, if some people were blocking you from this, it has to do with spirituality, I felt, because I was looking right at that. But maybe for some of you, um, there was something blocking you or getting in the way here. Um, yeah, something was challenging you, but it was preparing you to. You know, your enemies prepare you for your level up. And that's what I feel like has been ongoing here. And you're starting to realize that, that people challenging you, they were just empowering you and turning you into this fearless leader. <laughs> you know, just like if you've been through the most, like you don't have fear anymore. It's just like if you've ever feared not having a home, power, water, resources, any of those things. When you come back from those situations where you were put in fear, you're no longer afraid of the dark. You're not afraid of things like that if you've had to endure those things, you know? So sometimes getting your power shut off and things like that, the feeling is different from when just the power goes out to a storm. You know, like it's, um, you can handle it much differently. That's kind of what I feel like is happening here. There's a tower moment for sure. Okay, all this fire and stuff. I'm getting somebody had some sort of stronghold over you and it's like it's still it's dissolving they somebody doesn't have as much control over you this could have been a lover okay an obsessive lover <laughs> okay or you were holding on to a certain lover or something and it felt forbidden to you and now you know that you can have it but maybe Maybe for some of you, it, this entails you being like a social butterfly or a leader. It's like knowing, it's like if you want someone in a leader position, you better be ready to <laughs> be in the spotlight, you know. If you can't handle that, then, you know, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> this is beautiful. So um, I'm getting this energy. It's like you needed to learn worthiness, judgment. That's why, like, you, you get to decide what's for you you know mm, you're calling judgment on things it's like if somebody won't clean up and do the work with you you know you may have to move move apart or whatever slowly moving meeting at work <laughs> badges nine of pentacles mm. i don't know why i'm still pulling cards i'm gonna stop i got a lot of cards here except ten of wands you're definitely closing out cycles Okay, you're releasing and you're letting go. You're not waiting around anymore. Okay, this new passionate new beginning is very much here. It's something that's fair and equal. You could be seeing sixes, could be letting you know you're in alignment. Like for some of you too, this one also has the gold digger on the card here. For some of you, you could have had certain people that you could be finding out were with you that were holding on to you, like a love connection or something due to your status. Okay. Or due to like your potential or, or something. But it's like they can't carry the mask anymore. They they see what's getting ready to transpire. I'm hearing here. And yeah, they know it's going to expose them. Like sometimes it's fun to hold on to like that fairy tale, that thought. But then when it starts to come true, you know, then it's just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like here we go. Like am I ready for this? It's like a big move or whatever. So you planned everything, a big move. And got everything all figured out and the movers are there loading up your stuff and then finally you're like all right they're, they're getting ready to take all my stuff now i'm about to get on the plane oh my god wait i'm afraid of planes <laughs> you know <laughs> like that mm, i know that's the energy that i'm feeling here it's like somebody is just you're, you're starting to realize this oh my gosh i just put myself in the mirror what did i do <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Z, you're so about your talents about to be showcased. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to flip this out. I'm just gonna close this reading out. <laughs> I'm sitting looking late to all of you. Bye.